Hello and welcome back to Alation Data Catalog and Data Governance Tool Review Series. In this video, we will look at the policy management aspect in Alation. From the Alation's homepage, you can click on the Apps menu and then on the Govern menu. Once in the Data Governance page, you will see there are three tabs Policy Center, Workflow, and Governance Dashboard. Let's explore the Policy Center tab. Once I click on this, this Policy Center tab gives me two types of policies here, the data policies and the policies which we will be defining as an article. Let's take a quick look at how to create an article based policy. You can click on the create policy. You can provide a name here like PII relation demo you can give a description here saying review this document before using PII fields and actually you can tag the data sources as well here once I hit add symbol I can tag data sources and its columns tables etc here so I can just say probably I'll probably pick customer ID information here and I'll click save and your policy is created and this can be up and this policy will be referenced in the customer ID column here moving back from the article based policy to the actual policies that were defined on the database as you can see these data policies like date mask, email mask, email mask 4 and name mask. These are the policies that were defined on our source database in Snowflake. Now as a part of the metadata extraction, when we run it, these policies are auto detected and documented in the Alation Policy Center page. If I click on this date mask, we'll be able to see the SQL that was used to define the policy that has been picked up by Alation, we'll be able to see all the columns that have been tagged against this policy of date mask. Now you will see this customer ID column. Uh, let's ignore this for now and I'll show you how we can add columns to it. So if you just click a simple add column button here, you will first test the connection to the sandbox here and then you can just click add columns and dynamically add columns to this policy from the web ui i just say add this custom id column and let's see what it says when i hit save and it says your request to add data managed by date mask policy has been sent to your data source your request has been processed and you will receive the confirmation email when complete and that is how you see this customer id columns mapped out here so this is a very cool feature of Alation where you can source the policies which are defined in your database and dynamically modify them from the Alation UI itself. If I move on to the database hash map and the customer table and look at the birthday, we'll be able to see that the date, ma date mask policy has been updated here against this column. This is the way policies are created, curated and tagged in Alation. Thank you.